Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Costa. If you are new here, if you are not new here, then welcome back. So I thought since my last Pretty Little Thing uh, video did so well, it's actually my top viewed video and I must have missed the hype. I don't know how that video has like 30 something thousand views on it. Especially since that was honestly like probably one of the most disappointing hauls that I've tried on. But nevertheless, I thought I would give Pretty Little Thing another shot. So my biggest concern the last time was that the sizing was weird. Um, I think I was ordering a size 14 and things. Um, so this time, I believe most of my stuff are in the size 12. So hopefully that makes a difference. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This is the first item that I got. This is a rust textured shoulder pad ruched skirt bodycon dress. I got this for $19.50 and this is in the size 12. See, I mean, like it fits good in this area. I like, like it's very comfortable, but this top area feels like it could be tighter. Especially like right here, you see it's going down. It needs to be a little bit more cinched in the back. And I mean, I do like that the shoulder pads are not that noticeable. But I do, I do like this dress. Needs a little bit of like modification or maybe um, like the sticky tape to kind of keep this up. But I actually do think this is really cute. This is very fall vibes. I think this would go really well with a brown heel. And yeah, this is uh, this is the vibe. Oh, and the ruching that they're talking about in the description is just this exact part right here. Another thing that I don't really like about this dress is the strings on the sides of the wrist. Not a big fan of these. One, they come undone easily, and also it's just like, why is this here? There's no point of this being here. Just like wasted fabric. So this next dress is called a monochrome print button down puff sleeve tea dress. Now this would have been super cute for the sizing. Again, it's a little inconsistent. I got this in the size 12. It fits, but like not comfortably. Like I feel like I'm sucking in right now. If I was to let go, a button would probably push open because this is buttoned down all the way. This is definitely a dress that I would have preferred to get a size 14 in, but if this had felt, but if this had fit properly, this would be giving me major like 70s vibes. Would wear this with like a tall black boot, but right now, not doing it for me. But I did get this for $9. And that's really all I gotta say. I just kind of want to get out of this dress and hopefully try on something more comfortable okay so my next item is this top it's called a blue blue cotton oversized crop shirt for a second i thought it said crap shirt <sighs> anyways got this in the shade blue this was nine dollars and fifty cents and this is in the size 12. again with like the sizing I feel like I could have gone down a size with this item. Now in my head with this shirt, I was going for more like, or I feel like this shirt would be best paired with like a white over the waist or over the hip um, jean, but I currently do not have that to try on. And I didn't see any items like that for sale in my size on Pretty Little Things, so I did not get something as I was envisioning. Now, I don't, I don't hate this shirt. I do wish I got a smaller size in this one, 
but I don't hate it. I think it has some potential paired with the right things. I don't think black jeans would do it. This color is definitely just like too much for, it's just like a shade off from the shirt. I definitely think this would go best with white bottoms, really of any kind. Um, maybe skinny jeans with like sandals. I don't think a black boot would really look right with this shirt and white jeans. But you can definitely dress it up with like a gold chain or whatever. Mainly focusing on the neck area here. So yeah, again, don't hate it, but don't absolutely love it. Just had to figure out the right thing to pair with. Okay, so my next item that I got is this hot pink slinky high neck extreme racer bodysuit. I got this for $5. Now, I'm definitely not wearing the bra that should go with this shirt because it is um, like a halter and I would definitely need to get like a halter bra. So it is showing a lot, but I, there are so many vibes you could go with with this top. And I bought three different skirts to kind of, show you what I'm seeing with this top yes this shirt is like hot pink super super girly but I'm saying like the overall vibe and look you're going for can be changed so much like this top is very versatile in styling so first let me show you the rest of the top halter top okay it is a bodysuit and this is the back, again, obviously. Don't wanna wear like this type of bra, definitely gonna wanna go with a razor back. Okay, so now we've shown the top. Let me show you the first skirt that I chose. Okay, all right. So this is a multi-floral print drape. I cannot see the screen from here. Multi-floral print drape front mini skirt. I got this for $7 and this is in the size 12. Does fit very nicely. Now definitely if I bend over you are definitely going to see something. So this is definitely going to need um, a pair of like spandex underneath. So this is the first vibe that I went with. This floral skirt. I think it gives me like I don't know why it gives me like mermaid vibes, but I'm loving it. So right, like super cute, super fun. Um, I think this is the most dressed up I've ever been. And I would honestly feel super comfortable wearing this out. Unlike most of the pieces that I've bought before, they've always like been like clubbing kind of outfits. While this, I feel like it could be either or. It could be an everyday outfit. It could also be, you know, a going out in the night outfit, which I never do. Okay, now let's go to the next vibe. <laughs> so this next skirt is a black Dalmatian print ruched frill hem mini skirt. Got this, got this in the size 12 and this was $10. Now this is so cute. Now this is a length of skirt that I find the most comfortable and with the ruching as well, like it helps kind of hold the material in so that way it's not like riding up over the day. This is so cute. This gives me like New York City fashionista vibes. You know, I sometimes I just don't know what I'm talking about, but maybe you understand what I'm trying to say. I wanna go out wearing this anywhere grocery shopping the material of the skirt is nice and stretchy so comfortable size 12 so far from what i can tell with what i've tried on size 12 is generally what i think is the best size for me um varies of course with some with different items but overall i would say the majority have fit well on me as a size 12. Cute. This is definitely something you would want to pair up with maybe a heel. 
Although I feel like, honestly, I could probably pull out the white tennis shoe if I wanted to. Now let's go on to the second to last item and the last skirt that I bought. So this next skirt is called a white detailed faux leather ruched mini skirt. This is in again in a size 12 and I got this for $10. Uh, yes, a whole nother vibe that this bodysuit can just be paired with. Um, I believe this definitely is calling for some type of jacket to go with it. Or I don't know, maybe. I feel like something's missing up top here. But I will figure that out later. Definitely would want to pair these probably with like a black heel, I think. I think white might be too much. Now if you really want to go legally blonde with it, you could go with the hot pink heel to match the top. Um, but that might be a little bit too much for me personally. Anyways, I think this is super, super cute. It's ruched at the back as well. Now this, I feel like, would normally bother me, but it's not that bad. And it's not that big to where it's like obnoxious. And also with the skirt, I feel like you could make it shorter if you wanted to. And honestly, it would probably look completely natural or to be more comfortable, you could just have it a little longer, kind of closer to the knees. I think this is super cute. Okay, so let's go to the very last item of my haul, and I think it would go okay with this outfit. We'll see. So this next item is called a black bow for contrast. PU pocket crop jacket. So I got this for $28.50 and this is in a size 12. Okay, so maybe this is not the vibe for this outfit necessarily. Maybe better matched with the Dalmatian print other than this white skirt. Oh, but this is like, this feels heavy duty. This is warm. This is comfortable. This has pockets that are usable ooh, that are also fur coated so if you just need some more warmth me I have impending um, rain off disease this is definitely so worth the $28 which isn't even that bad it gives me leather jacket vibes but it's not leather at all it has like little hints of faux leather with the faux fur um, and it's like buckling detail. So freaking cute. Yeah, definitely not going, probably not, probably doesn't match this skirt very well. But the jacket itself, super freaking cute and so, so freaking warm. Oh, yeah, so I'm like so satisfied with how this haul has went. my The only item that really didn't fit was the floral dress, button up dress. Um, I'll keep that and maybe some spanks will help conceal it all in because I will definitely eventually be working my way into fitting in that dress, okay? Gold, 2022 gold all right guys that actually concludes this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel i try to post at least once a month i cannot promise that i am busy and i am tired but i hope that does not deter you away I'm hitting that subscribe button because I mean I'm not gonna be gone I might be gone for a little bit but I won't be gone forever okay all right enough of me talking my ass off I will see you guys in the next video bye